What's up, people? I got another little game pickup video that I wanted to do. Um, you're gonna see some high dollar stuff, but don't worry, that uh, has been picked up. This is all from like the past couple months. So, I didn't buy all this at one time. Um, but I guess uh, I got some PS3, PS2, PS1 games that I want to show off. So I guess I'll start with the PS2 because I have the biggest stack here for that. Um, my first one is a loose disc game, which is Shinobi. Sorry, kind of weird with the webcam, but yeah, this game's pretty cool. I started playing it maybe like last week. I really liked it. I played it over the weekend. It was really fun. It's a cool game. I heard it's um, actually better than Nightshade, but I don't really know anything about really this series in general, although I know it started on the Genesis, or maybe not even the Genesis, it might be the arcade, but uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, really cool game, vibes on point, um, I definitely suggest it. Next I have Mortal Kombat Deception. Um, I really wanted to get this one because this has like the, the conquest mode and I just recently watched a video from a YouTuber, I wish I could remember his name right now, but he did a really cool breakdown of the whole conquest mode and that was really, it was a really cool video, it was like, it was like an hour and a half long or something like that, um, but it was really, really good and he kind of talks about like the whole atmosphere um, throughout the campaign mode and excuse me, um, the, the sound design and, and whatnot. Um, I liked it so far. I liked it so far. I didn't get, oh, like, sorry, I didn't get very far in it, but it's fun. It's fun. I liked it. It has a really interesting, um, game save mechanic, too, where you actually have to have a code when you save your game, so if you get this game, you'll definitely want to, like, write the code down. I actually kept it like in the box so I didn't forget because I don't I switch between my games a lot so but always good to have handy um, the next game Spyro the Eternal Night um, this game actually gets a lot of flack from what I read online but from what I've played of it so far it was pretty cool I played a new beginning a whole lot on my GameCube but GameCube games are so expensive nowadays. I don't really bother with it anymore, honestly. So, yeah. So I, I went with the PS2 version, and it, honestly, it, it still looks good. I run my PS2 through component cables, so it looks pretty sharp. A lot of people say like the GameCube games have better resolution, which is probably true. Um, but either way, no, it's a cool game. I didn't play very much of this either yet, but um, I played probably the first like hour of it, and it was fun. It's a lot like the first game in terms of like the game feel and stuff. Um, but it was pretty cool. Got Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, and apparently it's the special edition. So I actually have this game on the GameCube, but I guess the PS2 version actually has some different features that the GameCube version doesn't. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, I like the Harvest Moon series as like a chill kind of kind of game. So this was actually something I was kind of hoping that I would find. I'm, I'm looking forward to. I haven't started playing it yet because I've played it on the GameCube um, pretty far into it actually, but it's been a long time now. So this would be this would be cool to to jump back into at some point soon. Um, another game that I was excited to, to get when I got it, um, I had actually tried to get it a few times, so I worked at, I worked at, um, a Goodwill that sold video games, which was super sick, um, and I got a lot of good deals that way, because I would get, like, an employee discount, um, and this game came through, like, a couple times, but the first time I tried to get it, someone came and bought it, and then the next time I saw it, like my manager had cleared the shelf to ship out to a different store so I missed my opportunity to get it there but then I went to a, one of my favorite local game shops and I found it and that is Mist 3 Exile 
Um, as far as I'm aware, this is actually the sequel to Riven, which is the sequel to Mist. So um, this I haven't I haven't started it yet either, but I'm really excited to have it. It's really cool, and it even has a little like strategy guide. You can see it on the box, probably not through the webcam, but it says like Prima strategy guide included. Um, so it's pretty cool. So you actually get like a little strategy guide built into it, which is pretty dope. And I actually have the Prima strategy guide. I just bought it at the same store that I got the game from. So someone must have like traded it in or something. But um, yeah, pretty sick. I like these games a lot. These are also kind of cool, like chill, atmospheric, but they're also, you know, they're, they're mind benders. So, but I like that, you know, it, it's, it adds a little variety to the collection. Next up, Bully, which is, you know, that's a classic, um, PS2 classic game. This one I was really excited to find. I've always wanted to play Bully for like years, but, um, I never had a PS2 when I was growing up. So, um, I was really excited to, to find this. This one I actually picked up at the, the shop I used to work at. I don't work there anymore. But um, this is this is a cool game. I've played through... Uh, I think I've played like almost halfway through this. And it's really good. It's really good. I, I would say it's as good as everybody says it is. And um, I actually... I find the melee combat to feel really satisfying. I really liked how it feels to like get in fights with everybody. It's actually kind of fun to like provoke fights uh between the bullies and whatnot so this is this is a really cool game um you can get it on like pc and xbox 360 but and i know that those are probably like the better versions but i just think it's it, i like having the ps2 version there's definitely a little bit of like choppy frame rates here but you adjust to it pretty quickly um but it's definitely a little a little jarring at first when you're used to super crispy 60 fps or higher like on pc or through even like emulation but it's a good game good game uh next one i just this one i actually just picked up and i'm excited to have it because i really like the first game on the playstation and that is the legacy of kane soul reaver 2. um this game i've i've played through most of the first game I never beat it but I think like I got to the point where I actually got the Soul Reaver and then a little bit farther after that so I think I got somewhat close to beating the first game and the first game is really good I really enjoyed it um, the writing and the voice acting is crazy good it's it's really really good for its time um, and this game kind of feels a lot like the first game but almost like an extension of it but I, I kind of like that I like that the the mechanics and the game feel are kind of similar because I think the first game feels really good to play so I'm really excited to actually play this more I've played maybe like you know an hour or so of it there's a lot of cutscenes in it that are pretty long so yeah you know but you know they're they're really well written and well choreographed and stuff so it, it's cool it's actually cool like watching them um so yeah legacy of kane 2 that's that's a good one grab it next up some cool japanese horror siren um this one i don't know very much about at all never played it watched some videos on it um but once i saw like videos and heard some people talk about it I knew it was one that I wanted to pick up and this is also made by if I'm not mistaken this is made by the team that made Silent Hill like the original the OG Silent Hill games um, I want to say it was maybe after Silent Hill 4 or during the development period of the original quadrilogy um, so that's pretty cool. I've heard that the puzzles are a little obscure, um, but I'm looking forward to playing this because apparently it has some really like next level facial animations and stuff. That's literally like facial recordings that are, I guess, somehow like transposed onto the model, which um, that's pretty cool. That's 
a really interesting technology going on there, you know, back in the day. So I'm really excited to play this. Um, and this actually wasn't as expensive as I thought it was going to be. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you paid, paid about like full price of what you'd pay for a game nowadays. So not too bad. Not as, it's not as expensive as some of the other, um, Japanese horrors that you would get on PS2 like Silent Hill or Fatal Frame. Next up, Dark Watch. Uh, this is one that I've seen a couple of videos about too and I've heard really good things about it. Um, I've heard it's just really interesting. Uh, like the the concepts in it and stuff are just kind of kind of cool. You're like a cowboy vampire hunter or something like that um so i think that's that sounds pretty cool and apparently the the first person shooting and stuff is pretty well done like it actually feels like a solid fps for the ps2 um so that's pretty cool i'm looking forward to playing this one i think this is going to be be a trip i like fps horror kind of stuff you know i really like dusk and ultra kill and games like that so uh, I think this is kind of right up my alley, honestly. I'm looking forward to playing this. So, yeah. This one. Oh, probably already saw it. Manhunt. Uh, this one, I actually, I've beaten it on PC. I have it on Steam. And I really liked it. I thought, um... I didn't think it was... Uh, what's... How to say this? Like, the whole craze about you know, it's like a murder simulator and stuff. I feel like it kind of you kind of start off that way, where you feel like you're kind of just murdering people gruesomely, you know, just to do it. Um, but then later on in the story, it kind of turns around, and then you end up kind of feeling like you're sort of fighting for your life, which is pretty cool. I like the way that they kind of turned it on its head, and it has a kind of like an action horror so that's pretty cool. I liked it. I thought I think Manhunt's a really good game. I haven't played the second game. I've heard kind of mixed stuff about it. So I knew that I really wanted to get the first game, and I've already beaten it. So yeah, and the um, the manual for the game is really cool. Like if I can pull it out here and show you, it's like uh, it's like an advertisement. So it's like it's like if you were looking through a brochure from like a like a snuff film director uh which is kind of dark but also um it's just kind of neat that it adds to like the world building of the of the whole thing um so it's a, it's a cool game cool game definitely very dark and brutal but good game next up classic and uh last in my list right now and I don't know, may as well I guess just show it. But that is Silent Hill 2, and it's the Greatest Hits version. Um, I heard that the Greatest Hits version is actually the best, because it has, like, enhanced graphics, and apparently there's supposed to be, like, a... If I'm not mistaken, I heard something about, like, the Greatest Hits version comes with, like, a soundtrack, but maybe not. That might be, have to, that might be something you have to get, like, separately. But um, this game is really cool. I started playing it through emulation on PCSX2, um, and I played a good bit of it, actually. I played probably, like, three hours of it, and it was really good. That was kind of, you know, for games that are this expensive, um, I usually try to play them a little bit and see if I'm actually gonna like it, if I'm gonna spend a lot of money on it, and I did. I thought it was really good, so... Uh, I was like, you know, I'd really like to have a copy of Silent Hill 2. And I found one at a local shop. I didn't even buy it off eBay. Um, it's, you know, it's complete in box. There's a little bit of wear. Um, but, you know, nothing a simple case swap with, like, Madden can solve. So that's a, that's a good game. If you have the money for it, get it. But if not, you know, play it on PCSX2 because it emulates really well. I had no issues and then you know you can like overclock the virtual machine cpu and play the game at like 60 frames so it's a it's a good move it's a good move if you can't play it just emulate it or get the um 
the PC Enhanced Edition, which is also supposed to be really good. It's just a little bit harder to find like a clean ROM that you can download. So uh, yeah, I think emulation is just, it's a good way to go if you're going to play it. So next, I move on to the PS3. Got another loose game here, which is Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. This one I haven't played yet, but I have the full trilogy on PS2. So um, I wanted to get the next installment. And I'm looking forward to playing this one because I've heard it's good. So yeah, don't don't have much to say about it, but looking forward to it. this. I think this is going to be a cool game. I want to get, um, it would be nice to get like a complete box copy and then maybe, you know, I'll sell my disc. But you know, I only got it for five bucks. It was five dollars at one of my favorite, a different favorite local shop. I kind of frequent like a couple of them. Um, but once I saw this, I was like, yes, I want this. And it's in really good condition. It's literally like, this is pretty much like a mint disc. I don't know if it was resurfaced or someone just took good care of it because the shop I get it from doesn't resurface. So someone must have sold it and it was in good shape but disc only or maybe it was like really damaged like the box or something but the disc is nice so you know I'm sold next is Alice Madness Returns um, if you watch my channel then you'll know that I actually just made like an hour long video probably talked about it for a little bit too long but maybe not um, I liked making it. I thought I thought it had some interesting points in it. But uh, this is a cool game. I actually, I really liked this game. This is one that I've I've wanted to play it for a long time. I remember watching YouTubers play this for years. I used to just kind of like stumble upon videos about it, and I just remember seeing it and being like, "This game looks really dope." So. I finally stumbled across it at the same store that I got uh, Silent Hill at. So um, once I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I have to buy this game because I like forgot that this existed. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool like action, kind of like a, not well, kind of like a hack and slash platformer. Um, so with a lot of really cool art and it's a long game too. It, it it does like stretch at certain points, but overall I thought it was good and I enjoyed the entire experience all the way through and the artwork is really amazing. There's some some settings and set pieces that still look really good. Um, not that the PS3 really has that dated of graphics nowadays, but um, I would say they kind of hold up like exceptionally well. So this is a cool game really good game next is Lost Planet 2 uh, this one I've beaten several times already actually I think I beat it back on like the P the Xbox 360 because I used to I would play my 360 a lot um, I think I beat it like probably like three or four times and I would play online and stuff with people um, so I just I just love this game. This game's really cool, and I have the collector's edition, like the the steel book of the first game, Extreme Conditions, and that's a really good game too. The first and the second game are just as good as each other, I would say. So if you can find the first game or the second game, get either one of them because they're both really good. Um, but this is, yeah, Lost Planet 2 is a favorite of mine. Really like this game. So, yeah, good one. Grab it if you can. Next one is Ratchet and Clank A Crack in Time. Um, this I actually don't know much about, but I have the Ratchet Quadrilogy for the PS2. And I heard that A Crack in Time is like the best PS3 Ratchet and Clank. So I was just like, you know what? I, I kind of stumbled across it and I decided I wanted to get it. 
and uh you know with everybody saying that it's like the best version that you can get for ps3 i figured why not um i haven't played it yet but i have a feeling that i'm not going to be disappointed if it's as good as everybody says it is and i really like the ratchet and clank games because i'm a big platformer guy as you can probably kind of tell so and then last is fallout new vegas which is a classic um i've actually heard that there's some like performance issues with the ps3 version um but i had fallout 3 on the 360 excuse me and i pretty much beat that game so i don't know i was like you know what i'm gonna get new vegas for the ps3 because it's an awesome game and you know people say that this is like the best fallout and i haven't really played it so i've just only played fallout 3 and a little bit of 4 but i didn't like 4 very much i pretty i think i played 4 for like an hour and then i got bored with it and literally never touched it again so yeah new vegas i have a couple that i actually forgot to pull down but i do have um yeah, it would be a little bit of effort right now to actually do that on camera. But I have um, Fatal Frame 2 that I picked up recently, The Crimson Butterfly. That is a really cool game. Genuinely really creepy, too. I would say it's as creepy as Silent Hill, for sure. Um, it's it's good. It's good. I played it for, like, two to three hours already, and... Uh, I think I reached a point where it was like so creepy I was just kind of like okay I'm gonna take a break from this um, but it's really good really good I really recommend it it's also it's pretty close to the Silent Hill 2 price point so um, honestly I would say you're it's a pretty safe bet on getting either one of them if you're like torn between Silent Hill or Fatal Frame um, they're both really good uh, so I would I would really recommend either of them I know that Silent Hill touches more on like mental health issues and Fatal Frames kind of like classic Japanese horror so I guess it just depends like what kind of vibe that you want to go for they're both really good though so and I have um, I also picked up Bayonetta recently sorry I'm trying not to do the lip smacking but I keep doing it um but I um, I picked up Bayonetta recently. I haven't played that yet. I've played Bayonetta 2, I think, because they were like, giving it out for free on 360 a while ago, so I picked it up. Um, and it was, it was a good game. I thought it was fun. I didn't play a whole lot of it, but... I don't know. Maybe it's one of those things where like the first game is the best game, so I wouldn't be too surprised. So I got a couple... PS1 games that I want to show. Not a whole lot, but some good ones, I think. So the first one is Dino Crisis. Um, this, as you can see, is just a loose disc that I happen to have in a CD case, but um, it's kind of okay with me. I didn't actually really plan on getting it, but that shop that I used to work at had just the loose disc for like sixty dollars and then I get like I got like a big discount so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get the disc and maybe I'll get the manual and stuff later if I don't it's okay I'm not that torn up about it to be honest but uh, still you know cool game I'm really glad I have it in my collection and I have a little label maker so I can like print labels for my games and still know what they are on my shelf even if it's just a loose disc so yeah Dino Crisis banger from what I hear I haven't played it yet I probably should I've got a lot of games I haven't played yet but um, I, I do look forward to playing this because I know that's in the it's in the Resident Evil vein kind of thing and uh, yeah it's Capcom so it's definitely it's definitely Resident Evil Resident Evil-esque. Next is Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. And this is kind of like half complete. There's no manual. Um, but that's okay. 
this is uh, this is a cool game. Another kind of point and click puzzle platformer, but not point and click platformer kind of thing. So you don't. It's not like live platforming. It's just like moving you know clicking to make your person go places but this is a cool game there's a lot of fun puzzles in it um it's really goofy and silly and abe is just a really like nutty character um so this this is really cool i've played a little bit of this on emulation and i had a lot of fun with it so once i saw it come to the store i was like "Ooh, i might have to snag that so i did Next is Medieval. Um, this one really wanted to get for a while. This is one that like I knew I wanted to have in my PlayStation collection because I know that he's in a way like kind of one of the mascots for Sony. Um, his gameplay reminds me a lot of like Crash and Spyro. It's almost like if you took the like action part of Spyro and then mixed it with a little bit of the platforming from Crash um, but this so this is a this is a good game um, I've played I've played a little bit of it already through like emulation before I bought it which is part of why I knew I wanted to get it but I haven't gotten super far in it yet I think I've gotten to like the f no I've gotten to like the fourth or fifth level but I haven't got much further than that. And then Gauntlet Legends. So this is, I have Gauntlet, what is it? Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I couldn't remember the name, um, but I have the PS2 game and I really liked it. I had a lot of fun with Dark Legacy. So I wanted to get the first game because it's on PlayStation 1. So this one I haven't I haven't booted up yet, but I'm looking forward to playing this cuz this is a really fun like couch co-op fantasy um kind of top-down combat and it's like role playing that kind of vibe. So yeah, and um like I said I played the the second game on PS2 or at least Dark Legacy and I really liked it. So I have to uh I don't know if I can recommend it, but I can definitely recommend Dark Legacy. And last is Nightmare Creatures. Um, this I've heard really like mixed stuff about. I've heard that people kind of don't like Nightmare Creatures that much, but I've played a little bit of it on emulation in the past. I played like the first couple levels and then kind of stopped not because it was bad but this game's actually pretty tough so um definitely gives off like a little bit of a dark souls vibe it's not like the the combat is like a little bit mashy but at the same time um like you know you take a lot of damage from each hit there's a lot of different enemies that you have to fight and like you do have to you know block and counter and dodge and that kind of thing so um, but this is a cool game i really like the the setting the horror themes all that kind of stuff so i was really excited whenever i could find a complete inbox version at uh, one of my favorite game stores i literally just like walked in one day this is one i've been like looking for um just because I, I really like the vibe and um, yeah I walked in he had it in the case it was the only copy so I was like I I want that so yeah that is uh, pretty much all my recent pickups within the past couple months now so and this is you know these are even a little bit before I made my first video so but uh, yeah I, don't know. I hope you liked it Hope you leave some comments about your favorite games or your experiences with them, your thoughts on them. I, you know, I'd love to talk about, discuss it a little bit. So, yeah, thanks for watching.